Hello YouTube, back once again with my playthroughs, and here we are with Ori and the Will of the Wisp. Um, so quickly when I thought the last story, Ori and the Blind Forest, uh, I loved it, thought it was easily one of the best uh, Metroidvanias ever made, and uh, here we are with the sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisp, and I heard this fixed the one make glaring issue with the first game, which was how bad the safe system was with the whole uh, having to use your blue magic, whatever it was called, and then the issue that there was doors that required a certain amount of them to have, so it just led to you just having to backtrack and grind them just to, because they were strangely stingy about giving that to you, but, uh, anyway, that's all I have to, that's my, all I have to say about the first one, besides it was a lovely game, and also I just found it amazing for a game that was so cutesy looking, I mean, you were an adorable cat-length thing flying around on a feather half the time, like, how goddamn difficult it was, just the fact it was the type of game that required a, um, Death health, like the amount of times you died at death counter in that game on the pause menu. I thought was pretty surprising, but uh, yeah, but here we are with the Order in the Will of the Wisps. Heard it's just as good, if not better, than the last one. Uh, heard the story is once again wonderful, and that's why we're playing here on Story Rich Gaming, because story matters. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin Ori and the Will of the Wisps. At least it's normal. Hey, it's a spider guy from Alaska. <laughs> I can never remember what his name is, but... Oh, can I climb? Is that that Billy? Um, I can just jump up walls now? Okay. Hey, cool, I have a hammock now. Ain't that nice? <laughs> Yes, walk, owl. Don't fly, just walk. <laughs> Come on, Ori. Let's get a move on. How do I get up there? Well, it looks like Ori did not keep any of his abilities in the last game. That's a... That's a disappointing. He even keep his feather. Careful, or the last time this happened, everyone died. You know, they just realized that 
the owls, like bugs, what were they feeding it all this time before that? <laughs> Just a thought. This is what happens when you're a bird and you grow, grow, um, are raised by non-flying creatures. See, this is your other issue. The owl was sleeping at, at night. They answer late in the past. Alrighty. Going back to the blind forest. I'll give making sure that he didn't die. She, um, he didn't die. <laughs> I mean, she, she didn't die. Just gonna just leave them there. Do you remember how hard it was to get some of those? <laughs> we. He gets the hammock. <laughs> That's how medical techno. That's how uh, birds work, right? <laughs> Okay, I can't. 
Okay, so I guess we'll jump up the owl. your brothers and sisters. <laughs> It's a little heavy if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> okay. This is why I shouldn't have traveled to with you. Horrible apocalyptic things always seem to happen when you're around. Ooh, but now there's a cat. Cat Lieber? Some friendly creatures for various items and upgrades. Okay, I guess you don't use save points for shops anymore. Energy or it's called 
Throw your slug and beat you with a torch. See, or this is why I said don't just drop the keystones. They're difficult to get. <laughs> It's a, it, it's a tree. Why would I want to do this? Ow. Fuck. Swat. What are you now? Not a Moki clue. Not even from Iowa, are you? I visit most lands near and far and not seen your kind. Come from across the water, maybe? Well, whatever you are, I'm talking. <laughs> I assume. Are you a watchdog that ticks by any chance? <laughs> a wanderer in these parts, uh, the better parts at least. I'm taking shelter from the storm myself, uh, but if you're thinking of going further, you'll have to get through the spirit gate to the east. The two keystones. I happen to have one in my bag, and there's another in the cave ahead. Acquiring is a job for someone more nimble than myself. What do you say? Missing key. Find the keystones. Oh, cool. We actually quest in this game. I uh, retrieved the missing keystone from the cave behind talking. He'll give you this. Great. Okay, let's go. There we go. You know, I, 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 I far prefer just beating things with a torch than whatever your light thing was in the first game. Dodge. Okay, there we go. So I say, why did my um lost the clip So I say, why did my torch go out? I'm standing underneath the floor. But hey, guess the developer saw that. Oh, now I don't have a weapon again. Lovely. Come on, or you had a stick. You could have beat things with that. I jump on? Yeah, okay. Spirit gates, different spirit gates may require a different number of keystones. The missing key. You found the missing keystone, bring it back to tell. See ya. Jump. Jump again. Yeah. 
Hey, Sock, what's up? Oh, oh you're back. And oh, is that a keystone? Let's see. Oh, no, There's one more for your trouble. I'm ever a bird of my word. Hmm? Oh, now I can, now oh, I can no. see you wandering through new and lost wonders before we lose any more. <laughs> and if we can carry on with er, whatever it is you're doing, good luck. Thanks, Doc. to the door. Alright, don't have a torch anymore, can't do that. Um, come on, that's what I said, or you had a stick. You could have just beaded things across the head with it. <laughs> Ooh, what's that? Let's insert the keystones. What? Uh, let's keep going. Yes. Yep, don't have a stick. Oh no. It's hard to make a run. I have to fight this thing with a stick. How am I supposed to kill this thing? Sort of didn't really, but you know, beat the tutorial pass. So uh, that seems like a good place to stop this video. Uh, YouTube, as always, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>